kid. So six months old, you should expect the uh, baby to be sitting up on their own, maybe doing a little bit more babbling sounds. Okay. Um, can roll front to back, back to front, maybe starting to reach for things and attempting to crawl at least. Oh, okay. So uh, at every uh, well visit, I try to you know give the parents. Um, this is what you should be expecting at six months. So um, if you're, you know, if the child isn't really babbling, are they, you know, are they doing a lot of face-to-face -face time? Or are they just plopping them in front of a TV? If they're not sitting up yet, are they doing plenty of tummy time so that way they can work on those core modal, uh, core motor skills? Um, so, you know, these are things that I always ask at every well visit. I'm, I'm sure, you know, parents want what's best for their kids, mm -hmm. I do too. Um, so, you know, I can only give the recommendations, so, you know, this is um, something that you can do, you know, we give books at every uh, well visit so that way they can continue to read and not only um, help with expressive language but also receptive language, pointing at things, identifying the ball, the cat, the car, uh, things like that. And uh, always, you know, try to tell uh, the parents, you know, try to limit the amount of screen time, so TVs, iPhones, computers, things like that, until they're two. And even after that, just you know, try to limit it to no more than two hours a day. How come? Yeah. Why would excessive screen time be mm -hmm. harmful? So two things. Uh, one is that it's a passive activity, so there's not much one-on-one um, -on -one interaction. So there's that social aspect of it, but also in terms of like the cognitive uh, part of it. Um, they don't really get that expressive and perceptive uh, language from just looking at a screen. And the second part of it is the motor aspect of it. So with the really young kids, uh, looking at a screen doesn't give them the, um, the kind of ability to mimic the uh, way that you move your mouth in order to form words. Uh, okay. uh, so that oral motor aspect of it too is uh, not there when you're just uh, looking at a screen. So when you do a lot of face-to-face -face time with the parents, they can actually kind of look and touch at, uh, at the parents' mouths and actually kind of mimic how they're moving their mouths so that way they can babble and start forming words. Reading a book to a child, that's mm -hmm. not considered passive for the child? No, because uh, the child is also right there and they can uh, continue to watch you move your mouth and also there's that uh, social aspect of it, the bonding. Um, they can point at the pictures, they can look at mom's face, they can you know continue to do a lot of that face-to-face -face time, so... Um, Interesting, so it's not yeah. like it's a multi-dimensional experience Correct. reading yep. a book. Mm -hmm. As opposed to just sitting and watching this screen. Yep, and, it's, and, and as the kid gets older too, it also uh, um, encourages them to move around a lot more and limits their risk of becoming overweight and sedentary as well. So.